Welcome back gamers. Uh, my name is Keith Hershey and in this video I'm going to go over how to make maps or to extract maps. Uh, let's say you are wanting to use this map for uh, Palace of the Silver Princess that you're going to try and put it in FG format. And Adobe Acrobat, you can just right click, save as. Another way you can do it is if you download some PDF image extractor File, open Palace of the Silver Princess and click convert and it will start scanning through all the images and it will put it in a folder put all the images in the folder so you can go in and you can grab your map rename it and you can use and it puts it in JPEG so then you can put it in Fantasy Grounds okay um, another way there's a vast number of programs you can use to create your own maps. Uh, here is Pyromancer's Dungeon Painter program, which is a free program to use, and it's actually really quick and easy. It's actually one of the ones I use most of the time. Um, I'll come back to this in a minute. Another one that has been around for years is Campaign Cartographer 3. It is a paid program and there are different um, products you can get from them. There are add-ons such as City Designer, one to make your own characters, uh, you make your own cosmos, dioramas, uh, one for just creating dungeons. And they got different sets and whatnot. You can get fractal maps that you can make and whatnot. Um, another one is Dungeni. Uh, there for a while, um, whoever was uh, at the top of the chain there uh, wasn't in contact, so they weren't able to sell their product. Um, anyhow, their store is once again open. This is a fantastic program. It does cost money. It is a really good program for making some nice uh, dungeon maps. Relatively easy. Um, another uh, place I have to mention is Cartographer's Guild. Uh, here is a collection of people that make maps. Uh, they post what they're doing. Sometimes they have contests. Um, you'll find tutorials on how to make maps using uh, programs such as Photoshop. Uh, there's also, um, you can use GIMP to create maps and you can see some really fantastic and awesome maps here um, and every once in a while um, they'll put out maps that the owners um, put out for anyone to use um, so it's definitely worth checking out um, they have a lot of great tips here for how to make stuff so anyhow I am going to go back to Dungeon Painter I'm going to quickly make up another uh, map kind of give you an idea of how it works this one's going to be an outdoor one so I'm going to go over here to where it says buildings I'm going to change that to nature and you're going to notice I'm going to I scrolled all the way down to the bottom and then I kind of go to the middle here because um, if not it puts you at the top left hand corner of the map it's just how I do it here I like starting at the bottom or working my way up. So um, you can pick uh, what you want your terrain to look like. Uh, let's see here. I want this one. So basically, you can just click and then drag and then drop your mouse when you're satisfied. Bam. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add in some trees. So I want to put in some plants. It's going to load up. It takes a little bit of time sometimes to load up all the different types of trees. Um, I'm going to go with... Um, I think I'm going to have something where uh, the trees themselves are being affected and they're starting to die off. So I'm going to go with this type of tree. So we'll go ahead and just plant some of them sporadically around like so uh, I'm gonna put in some bushes too so I'll click on bush 
Come on, I clicked it. Okay. Oops. Back over to our map here. And we'll throw in some bushes here. Put this one right here. Like so. Alright. Uh, let's see here. And, uh, you know, you just take your time and go through here and, and look. You can, let's say I want to put in a magical pool, and I can click that. And I can put that in there somewhere. Let's say I just want it right here on the, the edge here. Just click it. Okay, that's done. Um, you can put in... There's different, all kinds of different aspects, and of course everything is put in here on a layer. Uh, so if you put something down and you can't see it, just go through here and use these up and down arrows to move that layer up or down accordingly. Um, there's, uh, see if you go back to buildings, you got more of your like dungeon building tiles here, and of course you click walls, objects, decor and there's going to be a bunch of different options. Um, you can uh, stick to grid uh, and just play around with that, but it's really simple uh, to make a map in this program. Um, you can add to your collection as well. Um, if there's uh, different art pieces that you have or want to add in t to choose from, you can do so. Anyhow, when I, you know, let's say I'm done with this map here. I just want a, a quick, short, and simple map. I am going to export to JPEG or PNG. Those are the two options you need for Fantasy Grounds. So I'm going to click that. And it's going to do a cutout of the map. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the cell size to 50. And then I don't necessarily want that extra pull there. I want it to be kind of cut off. So I'm going to move that corner up. And then same with this one. I'm going to drag it down. Uh, I don't, don't want all that extra space. This is fine for me. Okay. And then once I am done with that, I'm going to hit Create JMPG. Let's see if I can yeah, drag this up a little here so you can see. I'm going to create a J, JPG, or uh, you could also do a PNG from here. So I'm going to click that, and when you click it, you just need to wait. Sometimes it takes more than a minute. Basically what it's doing is it's um, converting everything so that way it's ready to go. You'll know when it's ready when you see this screen, save file. So I'm going to save it, and uh, let's see here. Put this on. Yeah. Browse folders. Put this on my desktop so I can easily find it. Yep, I lost it. Yeah. All right, try this again here. Save file. Okay, there we go. For desktop. Go ahead and name the file. I'll just put um, Woods Encounter. Save it. And there we go. It is done. Okay, so now I look. Open this up. And there's my map I made. And then from there. I did save it from the last time. Okay, and you can see the difference between the other one and this one. This is the one I just did, and I didn't adjust the uh, different um, angles in, so it drew everything that was in that square. So this is the one we want. I'm going to copy it, and then we're going to go to the Fantasy Grounds folder here. application folder, go to the campaign that I want to put it in, uh, let's see here, I'm going to put it in random encounters, go into images, and I'm going to paste it in there, 
there we go. And we're going to rename this one since the other one didn't take. Put woods encounter. So that way, when I'm in game and I open up that random encounter module, when I finish this one up, I could look and go, okay, that's the woods encounter instead of map 12 by 12. Anyhow, uh, that's a real short, brief um, example of how to create some maps. Um, depending on your artistic level, you can check out one of the other programs. Uh, I've seen some really good ones done. Um, there is another set of tutorials um, put out actually by Dr. Zeus, who uses Photoshop to create some really nice looking uh, maps. So let me bring some up. Here are some that he's done with uh, H2. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So you can kind of see. This is using Photoshop. Re they look really sharp and really well done. Um, but he's got three tutorials, and he takes you step by step through the process of how to make maps that look just like these. Uh, anyhow, if you like this uh, video, please like and subscribe. Leave your suggestions in the comments down below. And as always, if you have a request for any particular area of Fantasy Grounds that you'd like to see a video for, please let me know. Anyhow, happy gaming, and we'll see you around next time.